Greetings, folks, and welcome to the second part of the uh, Rocket Knight Adventures playthrough. And this time around, we're going through stage three. It would be three of seven. It has also come to my attention after reading some Wikipedia articles and actually doing some research off camera. The, uh, the princess that was captured, her name was Sherry, I guess, so we gotta rescue Princess Sherry. And I guess there's another enemy called Devil Gus, who's like a pig. There's a lot of pig enemies in this game. There's also a lot of one-ups in this game, if you know where to look. That one was more so in plain sight, though. You want to be really careful maneuvering through this section, though, because of the rising lava. For some reason, I find it satisfying to hit those fish because they just freaking explode whenever you throw your attack at them. <laughs> oh, yeet. Now, this part of this section is not too bad to get through. However... Ooh. However, there is the mini boss battle in this that makes it really hard to get through this level. Or definitely did for sure in my early playthroughs of the game. But yeah, this is the mini boss battle I was referring to. I mean, sure, you can keep launching down and hitting the dome where that pig resides. But you also gotta deal with these claws over here. These crab-like claws. Took that one down pretty easily, but this one over here can be kind of a pain sometimes. Whoa. Definitely want to look out. I've had plenty of deaths here before. But no problem. Now we just gotta launch down with our attack. and I didn't really mention the launch attack yet, but you've seen it plenty of times in action already. But if you hold down the uh, second... But if you hold down the secondary button... The uh, meter at the top above your... Well, with your attack, if you hold the attack button for a few seconds, there's a meter above it that if you wait for the meter, it'll allow you to launch yourself whenever you move a certain direction. Now, this part is what I think is probably the worst as far as these bat enemies. They are very annoying to deal with. So I've had plenty of occasions where they've just knocked me into the lava and ended my day. I'm just going to mosey on over here to the stage 3 boss. He's a giant robot fish. You gotta look out for the fish. Glug, glug. <laughs> Whoa. I don't think he's going to be... I don't think that fish is going to be too much of a problem, though. See, the fish really isn't the problem. It's this enemy that'll... Yeah, it's him. When he jumps out of there, you gotta make sure you hit that enemy. I don't know how many times you gotta hit it, but several. Also, the uh, platforms that are... They will change from lava to up top, depending on where you are. Or not depending on where you are, but depending on the opposite of each time. But hey, defeated that 
nonsense and that'll do it for stage three stage three was actually pretty quick to get through of course you get a bunch of extra bonus points for your health and your health gets replenished for the next level cool stuff There's that stage four ship. And the king will give us a cannon launch over to stage four. Let's see what kind of stuff awaits up here. But yeah, whenever I first played Rocket Knight, I wasn't really sure what the heck sp he was supposed to be. Like, I didn't know he was a possum. I thought maybe a kangaroo at first. I thought maybe a rat. Because, I mean, he doesn't really look... He doesn't really look like a possum. And the goal here is to just swipe those back at that enemy over there I think you have to do that 11 or 12 times but yeah I don't feel like this game really gets a lot of recognition but yeah I'll look out for these barrels just like in Donkey Kong all these freaking barrels. Hey, there's Axel here and Sherry. They'll just jump down here. Deal with these. These make kind of a weird noise. It's like, rah! That was a lame impression, but... Look out for that because it'll shoot fire at you. Of course, I disregard that sometimes and just see how many times I can hit that enemy. But of course, you can launch those at it. I think those things are supposed to be like b bombs, but not really. But no problem. And we'll get back into the ship. Ship. My ship sails in the morning. I wonder what's for dinner. <laughs> Wrong game. <I'm laughs> My bad. This part's kind of annoying to get through because you gotta look out for those pigs that'll shoot the item or the projectiles at you while at the same time getting through these parts where the gates appear laser gates and now we meet up with the enemy with the pig enemy from the beginning of the stage once again and he's got this robot that resembles him now this robot's not really too much of an issue to deal with because you just gotta look out up top to make sure you're not in the path of any projectiles or debris from the ship. But then after he does the shuffle you just gotta hit him a few times and and then you gotta hit this dude a few times and knock him out and And that's going to do it for stage four. Once again, getting a pretty good bonus there. Got 115,260 points. I'll tell you what.
Well, we're going to move on to stage five next. And this is where the game really stops screwing with you. This is where things get serious. Now it starts off here with you flying around and you gotta look out for those rockets. And there are a few instances where those will... This, there's a few instances where those will hit you if you're not careful. And you gotta look out for those two, which those things... I don't know why, but they kind of resemble candy corn. At least in my opinion. And candy corn is the shit. I love that stuff. But yeah, just like that section in World 1, or just like that section in Stage 1, flying in the air and you gotta look out for those enemies on the balloons and you gotta look out for these rockets. We're flying through what looks like a very industrial looking city. You get a lot of steampunk vibes from this game. Now this dude here, he's pretty annoying to deal with. But what I do is I just... Hold to the right and spam the heck out of my attack. That's about the best thing you can do here. Now that he's out of the way, we'll launch into this castle over here and got a one up right off the bat, which is pretty cool. Now those enemies, those enemies can kiss my ass. I do not care for these enemies because they'll kill you upon impact and they chase you throughout the stage. But not for very long though. And you just go over to those rooms where you teleport out of the way and Man the music here slaps. I forgot how much the music here slaps. The music in this game is top notch. Everything in this game is top notch though. Except for this part right here. I really hate this part. This is really difficult to get through and you gotta be really particular about how you jump and where you jump and you gotta deal with those platforms that can smush you. And you get another one up though. Which is pretty cool so if you keep dying you can respawn at the beginning of this room and keep getting that one up back. Which, amazingly enough, whenever I recorded this, I didn't die in this part. I actually haven't had a first death yet in this recording. I'm already up to ten lives. Unlike a lot of games, this does not max out at nine. Looks like it keeps going, but you don't really end up with very many lives at the end of the game, even if you know where all of them are. I always thought this part was pretty cool. I don't know if I should put up a flash warning for this one or not just because of those platforms. Because they make a predominant appearance in this section of the stage. And on the corners there, yeah, those ones, they flash. I mean, they flash a lot. I 
Also, if you bump into him, you immediately die. Man, these jams. Like, whenever I record... Whenever I record any Let's Play, I've got the headphones... I'm playing the uh, master recording head from the laptop at the same time that I've got the mic hooked up on the other laptop. So I've got my headphones in and I'm listening to the soundtrack of this game at the same time and it's like, oh man, I forgot how much these jams slap. I will teleport on over here to the uh, main boss of stage 5, which happens to be Axel Gear. And this ends up being a pretty difficult part to get through if you're not careful. You've got to be quick to get through here because he will chase you down on that robot so quick. But I managed to make it over here. Oh, wait a minute. I see what happened now. I did end up dying at least once when I recorded it, so I'm down a life, If for those who didn't catch that. Like, I went in here with 11 and now I've got 10. <laughs> the magic of video editing. But this is a pretty difficult section. Because you gotta outrun him first, and then you gotta make it here with this rock'em sock'em robot stuff. And you gotta dodge his punches, and then you gotta punch at the right time. And I'm, I can't remember how many times you gotta punch him, but it is several. But it looks like it's no more. We'll deal with him a little bit more later on in the playthrough, though. And that's going to do it for part two, and I will see you all in the second and final part of this playthrough. And getting through this stuff pretty quick, huh? Anyways, I'll see you all in the next part.